people today at 12 7 it would be a zero shadow day we come to you from the Elliot's beach in Chennai where the Indian Institute of Mathematical Sciences have set up two poles to help people understand the concept of uh, zero shadow day technically at that time the shadow will be exactly underneath yourself or every object and for some time there'll be a feeling of no shadow what they call a zero shadow day and with me Pratik and in fact now to show you this pole the shadow is seen in one particular angle as time goes by it will completely get closer and for some time there will be no shadow at all which means that's the time they call it as zero shadow day and let's speak to Pratik a research scholar from the institute thank you very much Pratik uh, tell me how does it work uh, so essentially uh, when the sun moves around the earth uh, the Earth is also moving. So uh, basically, as the summer goes on, uh, the sun moves from southward to northward. Uh, in northern India, we know we know it as Uttarayan and Dakshinayan, the northern and southern movement of the sun. So today, on zero shadow day, the sun will pass directly overhead to Chennai, and summer would kind of officially begin because now the sun would start moving northward. Uh, so after this in the summer the shadow would start moving southward this will happen again uh, the shadow will start the sun will reverse direction the shadows will again start reducing right now there is very little shadow seen underneath and in a minute's time if everything works well even that will vanish and that's what we call as zero shadow day and this happens at every place twice a year in the tropical region and uh, in many parts of Chennai, at least in around 50 areas, uh, many organizations, particularly the Tamil Nadu Science Forum, have arranged uh, demonstrations to help people understand how this works. And let's speak to them. In fact, if you can see the shadow of each of these members standing here, again, it's exactly underneath in a minute's time everything should vanish because there would be an illusion that there is no shadow because it happens right underneath because the sun is exactly uh, how do you call it technically overhead, overhead. and let's speak to them uh, thank you very much for your time what's the idea behind this so this is uh, something that happens twice a year and special because it happens only in the tropics so it's uh, something that you know we can observe and uh, you know talk about how the sun moves and to see that this happens uh, this is one of these daytime astronomy sort of events right, right. and sir you are actually using this opportunity to promote scientific temper among people ama nanga idha idha payanpaduthi vande oru oru scientific temper vande makkal madhila uruvaakanum appdin solli nenikrom idha pathana vande oru koranja paracha vande idha pathana vande oru oru adipadai arivil idhila enna irukku appdin therinjikiradhu therinjik therinjik vekkanum appdin nanga nenikrom adanalae vande nanga vande inga chennai maavattathilla oru 50 mayangalukku merpatta idangalla vande anga kudiyirpu pagathil irukk koodiya podumakkaliyum kuzhandhaiyum vande pangadukka vekkiradhukana yerpaadu pannirukom adukana munkootiye vande oru payirchi mugam nadathirukom adha solli kudukkuradhukaga Resource person on the, on the right. he says uh, in at least 50 different locations across Chennai, they have set up demonstrations like this with their own members being there. And let's also see exactly the zero shadow movement now. There is no shadow here underneath this particular pool, which we saw a um, few minutes ago. There was a tiny patch of shade or shadow, but now there's nothing at all. Exactly, we are at the zero shadow moment in Chennai and Pratik if you can come this side uh, again if you can show Pratik if you stand there the shadow is exactly under him do you think there will be could be some more changes now uh, no it will elongate after this okay we've crossed the moment of local noon right uh, so we've crossed the moment of local noon the sun has gone away from the zenith now it only stays there for about 30 seconds or so and you'll see the shadow has started elongating on the opposite side right, right. Uh, for me also my shadow will also start elongating on the opposite side uh, and yes yeah, uh, that is what will happen now the sun will start moving northwards and every shadow that will be cast at lo local noon on every day will be slightly towards the south and it will never be zero until the middle of August. Yes. This happens only twice a year? Yes, this would happen only twice a year. Uh, that's because the sun would pass overhead twice a year. So once it will happen today, once it will happen in the middle of August. But in Chennai and most of northern India, that time is monsoon time, it's a lot cloudy, so it's kind of hard to see there. 
but uh, it'll happen again in August. And what's uh, special about this in terms of, say, scientifically? Uh, in this idea. Yeah. So scientifically, uh, this is actually a very interesting time to measure because uh, technically we are taught that when the sun passes overhead, it's noon, but that's not technically true because the sun will always be somewhere here or here. It'll it'll pass at the highest point of the sky, but it won't pass directly overhead. Well, today is the day when that statement is actually true. At the local noon, which will be 12.07 p.m. today, uh, sun will actually pass directly overhead. But sun remains stationary, but the Earth's movement in such a yes. way. Yes, the Earth's movement is going to be in such a way that for us, it'll seem like the sun will pass directly right, overhead right, to us. Right. So that today will actually be a local noon. Uh, another interesting experiment that we can do with this is mm -hmm. uh, if you see the two poles, that one is straight, but the one close to you is slightly tilted. All right. That's because, uh, yeah, well, so essentially what we do is we know the distance between the two poles mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. And by knowing the angle of inclination of this pole, we can actually repeat an experiment that was done by a man named Eratosthenes in ancient Greece thousands of years ago. Uh, and we can actually, just by knowing these measurements and the length of the shadow at the time of zero shadow there, we can actually figure out the, surf we can actually figure out the circumference of the Earth. Right. And if we know the concept of pi or the value of pi, we can use that to figure out the radius of right, the Earth right, itself. Right, right. Uh, this Greek man named Eratosthenes actually did this experiment originally thousands of years mm -hmm. ago. He measured the circumference of the Earth right. by doing the same thing. Right, right. On one city, he had a zero shadow day, so right. a well would have no shadow inside. Right, you could right. see it to the bottom of the well. Right. And then to a different city, the well would cast a shadow because, well, the Earth is round and right. it would not have been the zero shadow day there, there today. Let's right. speak to this little boy here. Thumping Avanga. Come, come, let's see whether he understood something. Uh, you, nigga, nigga, park him. Do you speak English? Yeah. Tamil? Tamil, please speak English. You nigga, the wonder king, the wonder king. You know, park wonder king. This is Purunji Chongle, isn't it? Nellal. Purile, pa. Park him, nigga, then. Ah. Yar, cut down, nigga. Gappa. Okay, okay. I'm going to sell you a bangla, bangla, okay? Hmm, sell you a bangla. All right, okay. So that's the fundamental idea that they want youngsters in particular to understand the scientific uh, knowledge behind this, the, sci the science behind this. And so also have another look at the underneath this pole, no shadow at all. But in a few minutes, I think there is a mild shadow beginning to appear. It's just a matter of minutes. You will see shadow forming again as, this, as the earth rotates and the position changes. Again, zero shadow moment captured on camera. In fact, uh, many are also taking selfies of themselves with uh, no shadow underneath. Let me see how I appear, if you can capture the shadow underneath. And many uh, tweet this along with their pictures to raise awareness among people uh, on this zero shadow day or zero shadow moment. And hope this would help many people to understand the scientific truth behind this and how this could be seen twice a day. Certainly a fascinating moment as we capture the zero shadow moment here. With Cheryl Esther Juliana at the Elliot's Beach in Chennai, Sam Daniel, Findy TV.